Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Now I know it's been ages since I made the last video. I'm super excited to be making this one. I want to thank you so much for sticking around. Your support means the world to me. And no, I haven't abandoned my YouTube channel. I've just been super busy with my master's degree in post-production. I'm learning how to edit here at Met Film School in London. Um, so yeah, I've just been a bit busy with that, but I promise more videos are coming soon. My everyday carry has changed a lot since my video in 2019. And so I figured I'd share my updated everyday carry with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's start with my phone. I've got the iPhone 13 and I've had it since launch and it's been an amazing phone. The design is perfect in my opinion. It's the perfect size phone for me. The display is one of the best panels out there and the cameras are insanely great. Most of the time I don't carry my camera with me anymore because the iPhone does such a wonderful job. Here are some of the photos I've shot. The battery life is awesome too. It lasts the whole day, the night, and the next morning, till I have to plug it in to charge. But lately, I'll charge it overnight just so that I have 100% in the morning. Now, on my iPhone, you'll find one of two cases. The official Apple Silicon case, or the Spigen Air case. Most of the time, I use the Spigen case. It's thin and light and offers great protection, all while feeling great in the hand. The official Apple Silicon case is a little too grippy and thick for my liking. On my iPhone, I'll have the MagSafe wallet sometimes. Now, this isn't the official one since the official one costs a fortune here when I bought it in India. I use it with the Apple Silicon case and the magnet has decent strength. You can fit up to two cards and some notes folded up. I don't like stuffing my pockets with things and I don't like carrying cash around, so ditching my full-size wallet was a great decision. Next up is my Apple Watch. And honestly, this is one of my favorite Apple devices of all time. A personal timekeeping and health tracking device that stops you from pulling out your phone for everything. I track all my workouts with this thing, and I use it as a camera remote as well. I've had one for almost four years now, and it's been amazing. This is the 40mm Midnight Apple Watch SE, a massive upgrade from my Series 3 watch with the bigger display, faster processing, and more health tracking features. Paired with these are the AirPods 3. I chose these over the Pros because I hate the feeling of in-ear headphones. The squishy bit sticking into my ears feels painful after a while and is super uncomfortable. I've tried the 3s and the first generation Pros, and while I love the transparency and noise cancellation on the Pros, I think the overall sound from the AirPods 3 is actually better. They've got better defined bass and clearer sound in my opinion. They last a long time and I charge the case maybe once or twice a week. Then I've got my flat keys which I pair with an AirTag. The AirTag has been wonderful so far. The peace of mind that comes from knowing that you'll be able to find important items is wonderful and has helped me find my keys many times. They use those coin cell batteries which you can replace on your own. With their one year battery life, unparalleled tracking, and iOS integration, this is a worthy item to add to your everyday carry if you're an Apple user. Next are actually my glasses. Now, I tend to wear two pairs, but the pair I want to talk about are my view glasses. They look great and are built nicely and they've got these tiny speakers in them. It's like adding a soundtrack to your world without blocking your ears. It's kind of tinny sounding, but overall, I'd rather have these than nothing. These have those photochromatic lenses that tint in the sun and they're perfect. Battery life is pretty decent too. My backpack is the Xiaomi MI travel backpack. It's got a water resistant coating on it, has a good number of pockets and compartments, and even a waterproof side pouch for water bottles and umbrellas. The laptop compartment fits my 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro perfectly and I keep my iPad right in front of it. Speaking of my MacBook Pro, I've got the M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. I've had it for the last 8 months and it's been an amazing computer. I've got the variant with the 10 core CPU and the 16 core GPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 terabyte SSD. I've had it for the last 8 months now and it's been an amazing computer. Performance is unmatched all while staying cool, having great battery life, and an absolutely insane display and speaker setup all while being built like a tank. The abundance of ports and the inclusion of HDMI and the SD card slot along with the return of MagSafe and the older style keyboard make this the perfect computer. I have to say though, I do miss the touch bar. I'd gotten so used to it that sometimes I just miss it being there. But obviously it's not a deal breaker. This is a great computer. I use it for editing photos and for editing videos in Avid Media Composer and of course Final Cut Pro. With my MacBook, I've got the iPad Air paired with the Apple Pencil. My iPad Air is the 2020 iPad Air 4. I've had it since release date and I use it for note taking as a portable secondary display for my MacBook and for reading and watching movies and TV shows. 
So yeah, paired with the Apple Pencil, the iPad is the perfect note-taking device. Now finally, I keep my T7 SSD with me. I've got mine here in gunmetal gray to match my MacBook Pro. It's got blazing fast transfer speeds and works great as an editing drive too. It's a USB 3.1 drive and it's been super reliable and I highly recommend picking one up if you're looking for a blazing fast, reliable SSD. And that's it for my Everyday Carry 2023 video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future notifications. Trust me, I've got a bunch more videos coming. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.